Hello deep learning and machine learning guys and today I would like to talk about some optimization techniques on deep learning and we all know that optimization algorithm is the main approach used today for training a machine learning or deep learning model to minimize its error rate. There are two metrics to determine the efficiency of an optimizer. The first one is the speed of convergence and the second one is uh, the generalization. Uh, popular al algorithms such as ADAM or stochastic gradient descent can capably cover one or other metric, but researchers can have it both ways. So let's talk about uh, momentum, Arison prop and ADAMS that is the most popular techniques on deep learning in my opinion. So let's begin with momentum. Uh, what is the momentum? Uh, let's have the situation that uh, instead of using the gradient to change the position of the weight, uh, let's use it to change the velocity. Uh, if we have the cost function here in the mini batch we have uh, the same cost function similar like this as you can see it's much more frequency in time is classical theoretical and we have the situation that imagine a ball on the error surface the location of the ball in the horizontal plane represents the weight's vector the ball starts off by following the gradient but once it has velocity it no longer does steepest descent its momentum makes it keep on the previous direction it damps oscillations in direction of high curvatures by combining gradients with opposite signs and uh, what is the momentum? Momentum is a method that helps to accelerate stoch stochastic gradient descent and it's working like this, it's accelerate Yes, it's local minimum. So momentum reduce updates for dimension whose gradients change directions. It increase updates for dimensions whose gradients points in the same directions. So after we know what is momentum is, uh, we can go to the definition of what Arison prop is. Arison prop is a technique which divides the learning rate for a weight by a running average of the magnitudes of recent gradients for that weight. It is a mini batch version of just using the sign of the gradient. And Arison prop is a mini batch version of RP prop. Uh, you can Google it, but uh, Erson prop is more popular and it can be used in mini batch uh, models, which is also one of the way how you can to optimize your deep learning model. So we can go further to the intuition of Erson prop, and we should know that Erson prop divides the learning rate by an exponentially decaying average of square gradients. And uh, Erson prop, uh, let's say it's a root mean square propagation, and it's based on exponentially weighted average. It's a formula like this, and uh, it's working uh, as is shown in this illustration. If you have a low uh, starting position here, local minimum here. Uh, the Erson prof working like this is reflects to oscillation in le learning process. Okay, we have a uh, illustration here. I guess that it it will be more clear. So if we have uh, let's say uh, uh, if we have a classical uh, sto stochastic rate and descent working like this. and we have a uh, Arison prop is, learn is learning in this way as you can see the learning curve is reflect to oscillation and the working to local minimum and 
We should know that earth and prop keep moving average of the square gradient for each weight. It dividing the gradient by square root of uh, weight and iteration makes the learning work much better. While momentum accelerates our search in direction of minima, earth and prop embeds our search in direction of oscillation. So after we know what is the earth and prop, we go to the atom. And what is the atom? Atom is the combination of stochastic gradient descent with momentum and earth and prop. And we remember that uh, momentum uh, accelerate, accelerate uh, our learning process and earth and prop is reflect to oscillation. And it is like the combination of acceleration and reflection of oscillations. And Adam is an adaptive moment estimation, which uses estimation of first and second uh, moments of gradients to adapt the learning rate for each weight of the new neural network. And uh, what is the moment in here? Uh, end moment uh, of a random variable is defined as the expected value of that variable to the power of n. Adam is an optimization algorithm that can use instead of classical stochastic gradient descent procedure to update network weights iterative based in training data. Adam also makes use the average of the second moment of the gradients. And this algorithm calculates an exponential moving average uh, of the gradient and square gradient. And the parameter beta 1 and beta 2 uh, controls uh, the decay rates of this moving average. And in conclusions, uh, I think it is a good uh, moment uh, to 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 make a comparison of the techniques we have talked before if we have a plane like this let's start with uh, simple stoch stochastic gradient descent okay if we, if we have a starting position here and local minimum here is sto stochastic gradient descent uh, let's say it's working like this Okay, is stop on local minimum. Let's say it's working well. So, uh, how working? Uh, uh, how working? Uh, momentum. Momentum. Let's say starting position is here. Local minimum is here, and momentum. As you remember, momentum accelerate the learning. You see the step of learning is much bigger and we have a momentum. Next uh, go to the go to the to earth and prop. How earth and prop is working? Let's say the starting position is here. Earth and prop uh, earth and prop starting position is here, local minimum is here, and Erson Prof, as you remember, it's reflect to oscillations. And okay, let's do it. It's diverging to local minimum and the oscillations is getting less and less and less. Okay. This is how working Erson Prop and the next and the final technique is Adam. It's Adam. Okay. And if Adam is a combination of Erson prop and momentum, that means that Adam should accelerate the learning and in the same in the same time it's concerning to oscillations. And let's draw draw the uh the function curve of uh, Adam. 
okay if it's accelerate the step of uh, learning is let's say bigger but it's reflect to oscillation also so let's try to draw like this 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 let's say like this or maybe I'll try to to draw again okay if we have a learning rate like this is going less and the working to local minimum yes so Adam is the combination of Erson prop and momentum uh, there were some experiments made uh, uh, while compare uh, different techniques of optimization and we have a simple example in DanceNet uh, where Adam and Ellison Prof were compared and as you can see the Adam uh, Adam lear learning like this and it finishes it finish in this position it's finished in this position while Ayrson prop uh, while Ayrson prop finish in this position and we have a gap we, we, ha we have a gap Uh, it is quite big gap and if you have a train loss function we can see that uh, Adam has uh, the l lower uh, has the lower uh, losses that mean Adam works better in this case and it is a principle uh, for if uh, if you want to learn more about uh, how momentum is working let's say it's a classical momentum and the principle of how it's working is like this when the ball is uh, uh, reach the uh, position when the gravity is moving it back it's moving back and stop in the local minimum while the nestor of accelerated gradient it's uh, working much more efficiency uh, less uh, movements and uh, faster uh, stop at local minimum and if you have a history of uh, how different techniques developed in time uh, after uh, previous one techniques was uh, uh, implemented in real life so at the beginning we have a gradient descent and today we learned more about Erson prop and this is a decaying average of uh, all past square gradients and we learned about Adam that is a combination of Erson prop, bias correction and momentum and as you remember Adam uh, Adam function uh, goes to the local minimum uh, with the accelerated step and with uh, uh, reflection of oscillation that uh, lets us to hoping the best results in uh, our deep learning models and if you look to the history we we, we can just check that uh, uh, Erson Prof was invented in 2012. It concerns uh, learning rate, uh, while Adam was invented in 2014, and it concerning a learning rate and gradients. So thank you, thank you for watching this video. Hoping it was uh, quite useful. If you found some uh, misunderstood on. Uh, maybe mistakes uh, I'm really open for any discussion and please comment and thank you again for watching so bye bye